Okay, this is going to be an LMMS tutorial on how to tune an 808. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this website. I'll leave a link in the description. This is what we're going to use to tune our 808. It'll tell us what note it is at. So go ahead and download whatever version you need for your operating system. I need the Windows 64-bit, so I'll go ahead and save that. And then you're going to have to go to the folder you saved it in. I saved mine in my downloads. So I'll go ahead and open that folder. And then uh, open up the zip file. And we're going to go ahead and ex extract this to where you have your VST plugins for LMMS. Uh, you can check this by opening your LMMS, going to Edit, Settings, and then clicking on this folder icon. And then right here where it says VST plugin directory, that's where your VST plugins are located or should be located for LMMS. So mine's program files 86 VST plugins. So I'll go ahead and go back to my file explorer uh, and cut the GTune plugin out of the zip file and go to the uh, VST plugins folder. And then just go ahead and paste that in there. I already have it in there. I'll just replace them. Doesn't matter. All right, now all you have to do is restart LMMS. So I'll bring that back up. Exit out. And open it again. And it should scan this directory for plugins when it opens. And then I'll pull op up one of my favorite 808s. Uh, I always use these somatic kits. They're free. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get some somatics kits for free. Um, they're really nice. They're of really good sound quality. Uh, so I'll pull open an 808. Uh, well, I'll check. They they already actually have the note on their 808 samples. They put the what note the 808's on in the name of their 808 samples, which is also really nice. But today I'm going to show you how to tune this. So this one's C sharp. So I'll show you that this will show you C sharp. And if you have an 808 sample that doesn't have the note in the name, it can help you tune that one as well. All right, so add a channel on the FX mixer to uh, link this 808 to. Go ahead and pull this up, and G-Tune should be in your plugin library. Open it. Link this 808 to that effects channel. Then go ahead and play it on the default note, which is A in LMMS. Uh, a on the fourth octave. So if we go ahead and play it, we should get a C sharp note detected in our G tune. And as you can see, we get C sharp. So that means we should switch this default note, this green square down here, to the C sharp. And you can do that just by left clicking above the C sharp down here. And now, whatever note we play on the piano or like the piano roll, uh, this. 808 should play on that note correctly as in before it wouldn't have because the default note was on a different uh, note. The default note on the piano in the sampler was on a different note than the sample is actually playing. So you wouldn't have gotten the right note before. But now you'll get the right note when you play on this piano or in the piano roll. As you can see, let me play an E. You get an E. As in before, you don't you don't get any. You get an A G sharp, but now you get an E. All right, this has been a tutorial on how to tune an 808 in LMMS. I had a video on this before, and I'm not really sure what happened to it, but all I know is that it gives a 404 error when you try and follow the link to it. So I just thought I'd remake it, and um. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. 
um, see you next time.